Hi, this is Dr. Lau. Today, we're going to talk about what is coding and whether you should learn coding or not. Now, lately, I was interviewed by ATV Global Watch to talk about the viability of kids learning coding and their potential career path. So many people wonder what is coding actually and how does it help us in our life? First of all, let's talk about what is coding. Coding is a special way for humans to communicate with computers and machines so that the machines can carry out instructions to perform specific tasks. For example, if you want to control electronic equipment like traffic lights, you will need to learn the language of a microcontroller such as assembly or C. If a designer wants to turn their design into a website, then they will have to learn HTML and CSS. So if you want to build a mobile application, then you need to know how to write Java and Swift code. So each language has its own strength and is designed to run on different platforms for different use cases. So what can you do with coding? Coding can help us to achieve many things today as our daily life has become more and more digital and interconnected with mobile devices and cloud services. And for example, a digital marketer will need to write JavaScript programs to track and collect data like who visited their websites, how much time the people have spent, and the type of products that people are interested. And then they can utilize this information to place advertisements precisely on Google and Facebook. As an Excel user, you might run into situations where you want to handle large amount of data and repetitive job. So you will need to write VBA code and using macros to help you to handle those tedious and repetitive operations. And in business use cases, you can develop your own applications that help your customers from placing orders, making payments, and even send out thousands of email newsletters automatically every week. In terms of coding, we can classify codings into four different levels according to their complexity. Now, the very first level is codes. Coding is the most entry levels and codes are the fundamental elements in programming. So what codes does is that it facilitates the communications between humans and machines. And we can just write a few simple lines of codes to perform some basic operations, but that's about it. Uh, code snippets are usually straightforward where it doesn't involve too much of a thinking and design process. So even a hobbyist can actively write code. Therefore, you hardly see any companies are hiring coders. What they do instead is they're hiring programmers. So as the name tells you, right, a programmer's job is to write programs. What we do is to give computers a set of instructions to execute programmatically. A program can contain many lines of code and is much bigger and more complex than a single piece of code. For example, I can write a program that helps me to check email every 10 minutes or go to Instagram to script all the pictures with a specific hashtag. You might have also heard of the term applications like mobile applications, web applications, and you've seen some companies are actually hiring applications or full stack developers. Now, application is a software, a complete software product that help users to perform specific tasks and it usually comes with a user interface. Now, for example, Microsoft Word is an application for you to perform word processing and Microsoft Excel is a spreadsheet application for us to perform calculations or mobile applications like WhatsApp is for us to send and receive messages. And people who create applications are called applications developers. And lastly, let's talk about systems. An application is usually used by human and a system can be used by human, but also other systems as well. A system should ideally be running by itself without too much of a manual intervention. Now, for example, we can have irrigation systems that automatically help us to water the plant or a point of sale system that help us to keep track of our sales and notify us when the stock supply is low. A security system will help us to block unauthorized access to our premises and alert us when there's a security breach. The thing about this, right? Many people think that Grab is just a mobile application, but behind Grab is actually a robust system that provides consistent transportation services and it manages the supply of drivers and demand of passengers automatically. 
By now, you have a clear idea about what is coding and what it can do at different levels. And the question that you should have now is, what language should you learn uh, if you want to code, right? Now, I won't prescribe a particular language for you to learn, especially if you are a total beginner. Any coding language that you pick up now will enable you to learn a lot of programming, data structures, logical thinking, and computational thinking. Here's a list of popular programming languages used by different sectors, so which you may use it as a reference or starting point. First of all, let's talk about Java. Now, many people thought that Java is an old school programming language, it's not so sexy anymore because nobody has talked about it, especially when we talk about data science, machine learning, and AI. But Java actually is a very mature programming language and has always been in the top 3 or top 5 positions in many of the popularity ranking charts. Today, Java is used in enterprise systems, especially the backend system of finance institutions, telcos, and even big data systems like Hadoop. Another popular language that you can consider is JavaScript. Now, although it has the word Java inside JavaScript, but Java has nothing to do with Java programming language at all. JavaScript itself is a scripting language that is used by many websites. JavaScript is the only programming language that our browsers like Chrome, Firefox, Internet Explorer will understand. Now, we also use JavaScript in Xbox, PS4, and IoT devices like Raspberry Pi and Arduino. So JavaScript at the moment is not only a cross-platform programming language, it is also the only programming language that can be used to write front-end web applications and also back-end web programs. Another popular language that you have heard a lot lately should be Python. Now, Python gains its popularity thanks to data science, machine learning, and AI. Now, not only Python is a beginner-friendly language that is very easy to learn, very easy to pick up, it has many free and open source libraries for web development, data processing, to even visualization. Now, Python is a Swiss knife programming language that many companies use it to analyze data, provide services, and extract business insights. And you know that Python is also the programming language used to produce the image of the black hole. There are many other programming languages out there, and some of them are for specialized applications. So I'm not going to go through every single of them, but as a guideline, if you are thinking of building web applications, you need to learn HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. You will also need to pick up a backend language such as PHP. Now, if you want to build mobile applications, then you can consider learning Objective-C, Swift if you're using iOS, or Java if you're using Android. If you want to venture into data science, machine learning, AI, you may learn Python or R programming language to begin with, as there are many open source libraries available for free. Now, lastly, if you are thinking into creating enterprise software, then you can consider learning Java or C Sharp, especially if you are working in a Windows environment. Alright, I hope this video has given you a clear understanding about different levels of codings and what sort of programming languages that you can learn. Now, depending on your ultimate goal, actually. Thanks for watching. Now, as usual, don't forget to share this video with a friend who is currently learning how to code and feel free to leave your comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like our Facebook page, and I will see you in the next video.